everybody. I'm back, and you know what we're going to make? We're going to make a strawberry shortcake. Okay, I ordered a mold, and this is a strawberry shortcake mold. And it was from Amazon. I don't remember the person, but if you put in uh, shortcake silicone mold, quite a few will come up. Anyway, this, I molded it, and it's with clay. It's with, um, this one was the foam foam clay, but you can also do it with uh, Model Magic and uh, what was the other one? The air dry clay from Crayola. Okay, I've done all of them. And you can use Plaster of Paris if you want to do that, but it's heavier. And I like foam because it's light. Anyway, there is our short, there's our shortcake, but we have to paint it to make it look more like shortcake. So I'm going to take a little bit of raw sienna, just a little, a little bit of sunny yellow, and you just got to experiment with your colors, it's too much yellow, and a little bit of the spiced pumpkin. This always reminds me of fall and it always wants me to start doing fall projects. And we're not even into June. <laughs> What's going on here? Okay. All right. I think what I'll do is I'll base coat this with the yellow. Let me get a piece of a skewer, because that's what I use. And this just helps as a handle. Well, maybe I can... That's pretty good. But I'm going to dry brush it so it's not so... Dry brushing meaning you take off most of your paint. And if you use more than one color of paint, it makes it more dimensional. Okay. And you're just going to keep going around that until you get it covered because I don't want the white necessarily showing. And a lot of times you can dilute this with some water if you want, but what's going to happen with that is it's going to, how do I say it, it's going to cover it more. And I kind of want this spongy look, the way it's looking right now. I can't think of the right word, but I just like the dry brushing better. All right, so I'm going to continue to do this until I get it covered the way I want, and I'll be back. Okay, let's see. This is dry. So now I want to... Do I want to do that? Well, I guess I could. I'm going to go ahead and Mod Podge this right now. Why do I always put so much? Hold on. Ok, 
Okay. Just going to coat this with some Mod Podge. It'll seal the paint, plus it'll give it a shine. Now you could use a mat on this cake, which I probably... I don't know if I would have or not. Maybe I would have, but it's not a big deal. Okay. I'm going to let this dry for a few minutes and then I'll come back and we'll put the strawberries on. That'll be fun. And the whipped cream. Let's do the bottom too. Okay. Okay. So that's it. I like that. Let me get this right here. I don't want that white showing. And again, you saw I used three different colors. I used more of the yellow than anything, but I didn't want it yellow. I wanted it to look like it had been baked and gotten a little bit of a golden brown, if you will. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to stick this into my styrofoam that I always tell you to keep so it can dry. In the meantime... I want to show you the strawberries and the different things I've done. Now you've seen, if you've been with me for any length of time, you have seen how I how I've painted my molds. And I have strawberry that came from molds. I have lemon and blueberry. The lemons I made myself. The blueberries I had a mold. The leaves. This leaf was a mold. I got a touch of that blueberry. The cherries is a mold. This leaf is a mold. Some leaves I make myself, but these are molds. And you can put the grain on your strawberry. Let me get this out. They start to stick together because I put them all in together. Because <laughs> I'm going to make a cake with all the fruits on it. That's okay. I can always go over these with a little bit of paint. That's not a big deal. But what I wanted to show you is you know how strawberries they have the flowers with them. And you can always put these with your strawberries. It's pretty really pretty. And then they also have half strawberries. So I'll probably use a few of both on my shortcake. And then we'll put whipped cream on it as well. But for a fruit topping, whether it be ice cream or a cake, whatever, all of these would be pretty. The blue, I have to touch this up, and that's not a big deal. And my cherries. I also had molds for... Raspberries, aren't those cute? So what we'll be doing is we'll be putting these strawberries on our shortcake. I think it's going to be cute. And I also want to make a cake with strawberries on top. Like I say, I just have to 
touch these up a little bit with the paint because these stuck together. I'll show you. I have these little ones too. That's cute. I have the Model Light in this mold, and I'm going to show you. I put it in the freezer. That's the best way to do this. And leave it in about 20 minutes. As soon as you take it out, do not wait because it'll start to soften. All you do is you pop them out really quick. And here's your strawberry. Okay? But literally when you take them out immediately because if you don't they start to soften them I mean almost immediate and don't put them next to each other because they will stick to together unless you want that look okay there so now that's Angie in the background now I'm ready to paint these and I will paint these again with you so you can see how I do it. Now what I do is I turn over my mold and then I place them. See it's already sticking to my finger. I don't want these touching. And I'll leave these like that until they dry more. So these, let me show you, will look like this when I'm done. So as soon as our sponge cake dries, we'll put it together. We have our shortcake ready. Now we're going to add some strawberries. And these you just can't have to kind of put them where you want them. Now, don't forget there's going to be whipped cream on top of here. Okay? Here's one of the little flowers. Now I'm going to put this next to it. So I want a little bit of that green because I think it's so pretty. Just using a little spackle to glue it. That is adorable. Guys, I hope you'll try this. It is a lot of fun. Remember, the world's a better place because you're in it. Don't ever, ever forget that. There's only one you and you bring something to this world. Nobody else can.